How are you? I'm Zita, your guiding luminary. Thank you for joining me today. If this is your first time, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm so excited today. I'm doing a segment on self-love with my courses and some of my clients. And I found that one of the boxes I was missing, oracle card boxes I was missing was the self-love or self-esteem, self-empowerment. And I searched all over the internet and on YouTube and I finally found one that resonated with me. And so I wanted to do an oracle box opening for you to show you my routine. So I received this a couple of days ago and I waited specifically for today to do this reading with you so that I can show you what I normally do. So this is a beautiful box. It's called the Self Love Oracle by Janet, Janet Chewy, a guidebook of 44 cards for healing and self-empowerment. Very, very, very beautiful. And as you can see, it comes in the silicone wrap. I almost opened up, but I thought I'd do this with you live so you understand what I normally do. And I have some scissors I took out to take this off. There we go. Isn't that a beautiful deck? And what I wanted to do is take a minute perhaps to read what it says at the back, what inspired me to get it besides beautiful colors, the heart, Merkaba, and the flower of life, and obviously the beautiful angel and another flower of inspiration at the top of her head. I'll read what's written on the back, so I'm not sure if you're able to catch this and how clear the camera is. So I'll read it for you if you have the patience to listen. What would it be like to truly love yourself unconditionally? Many of us believe that being deserving of love is based on our eternal accomplishments, how much money you have, how you look, what you own. But this kind of success can leave you feeling empty, directionless, overworked, and under, underappreciated if you don't first love yourself. The self-love oracle reminds you that you merit your merit is not determined by childhood conditioning or social norms, but that true worth comes from within and that looking for love inside yourself is where the most powerful transformation and healings begin. Each of the 44 cards features a beautiful watercolor with an affirmation and loving message. And the accompanying guidebook brings deeper insights into how you can release your limitations so that you know you deserve the best life has to offer. So what I normally do before I even open the deck, I like to knock it. And preferably you shouldn't knock it in your hand. And I do this to release any energies that may be locked within the box itself because this has traveled probably around the world from the production cycle through the mailman. And has it been with the UPS, it doesn't matter if it's been knocked around and may have absorbed other energies around it. So that's one thing I do first. Then when I open the box, I like to look at the see if there's a message in inside of the box and there isn't at this point, but that's okay. Maybe this here. And I look at the book, the guidebook. It's a beautiful guidebook. I knock it as well to release any energies. I flick it through. And the first thing I do before going in, I write the date. So I'll do that right now. I received this on March 26, 2022. So I like to time or date stamp it because on this date, what I do the numerology, which I did earlier, it came out to 17, which can be reduced to eight. And this would mean a lot of wealth and prosperity coming my way based on numerology. So here's a book, a little booklet. And it, it's a typical booklet with the table of contents. What I like about this booklet, it is very large. So it's easy to read. Black and white. And it tells you how to read the different cards. You can do different spreads, two cards, three cards. And then you can do whatever works for you, however you feel comfortable that there's a message for you. 
So what reading you'd like to do, there's eight cards. And it explains what each card in its position represents, which is really, really nice. Especially if you're a novice reader. This is a beautiful card manual or booklet. There's a beautiful picture of every card, as you can see. It's in black and white, but what I like is you see the actual card itself displayed, and you also have the meaning of the card written here. So you can see that. It's a beautiful little picture of a little dog. And then right beside it, you have information about the card. Very, very, very nice. So know you are safe. Protection is always available to you. You have all the resources that you need, both within you and around you. So sometimes as you are starting out in your journey to learn, look at the picture, look at the keywords. There's things that will pop out of you. If you're doing a very detailed reading for yourself or for someone else, just maybe that gloss over the general meaning of the card. But if you're starting out and you'd like to know more and learn more about this deck, simply read this and move forward and see how it absorbs within your energy field. Okay, so the next thing I do is I pull out the cards, obviously, and that's too bad there isn't a message. Sometimes these boxes have messages at them, which is really cute and inspiring. So obviously we remove the little rack and here we go. And once again, I put the cards down and I knock them to ensure all energies are removed. And one other thing I do is I use my sage cleaning. So I normally light it up, which I'll do and I'll show you. I light it up. And I once it's really roaring and burning, to bless the deck. I actually clean the deck. And if you have the time, you may wanna do this with every individual card, but for sake of saving some time, I'm just gonna show you how the process, what I do. So all negative energies are gone and only peaceful messages will come through. Okay, so without further ado, I'll leave that burning. And then let's look at the cards themselves. I go through each and every card because it's important to kind of bless the cards that you have in your palm and to absorb the energy. So the more often you use the cards, the more they resonate with you. Let's remove this. And then you feel a deeper connection to them. So the first card, remember your spark. Here's our little puppy. Play. Remember with your inner child, find a sense of whimsy and wonder in all that you do. What I like about this deck. Oh, just to show you, the back is absolutely beautiful. The colors are very bright. The cardstock is very nice as well. And it's very calming, very calming, very serene. Beautiful colors that pop. It's like work of art. Hoping you can see the wording here. Um, know your own worth. You are worthy. Abundance is everywhere around you. Feel worthy and open yourself up to receive the many gifts that await you. Know you are safe. Protection is always available to you. You have all those resources that you need, both within and around you. Just love these colors. Love, 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 love the colors. Dance. Change is not possible without movement, and movement is everywhere in the universe. You are invited to join the dance. Create. 
Isn't that beautiful, the burst of colors? I'm hoping that the camera picks this up. Beautiful, vibrant fire energy. Everyone has ability to create a life of joy. It is our birthright to manifest our desires, our hopes, and our dreams. Own your power. Changing the world is easier for one after one learns to change oneself. Become the change you wish to see and watch the world around you shift. Typical butterfly signaling change, important change over in the world. Spend time alone. All decisions must be made by yourself. Give yourself the time and space to seek the answers within rather than without. Look in, you'll have the colors, the light, and the magic sparks around you. Rest. Divine timing is always spot on. Surrender control and take a break. If you're working too hard, time to take a break. Coexist. Be as you are without harm to anyone or anything. You appreciate diversity as part of nature. Variety is the spice of life. When you need something, go out and ask your angels, but be clear. As this card says, clarify your desire. Be your dear about what you want. Do not ask out of lack, but from the deepest joys in your heart. Practice of acceptance. The heart wants to give and do it all, but everyone has limitations. Accept help when needed. Not everything is going to be asked for you to do. Set boundaries. This is very, very important. We all have challenges in setting boundaries, especially a lot of empaths are, are usually out to help others and people pleasers. So take time to set boundaries. It's okay to say yes and no, as long as it works for you. Honor and hold your own physical and emotional space. Only, only you can do this effectively. Respect your feelings and allow, allow others theirs. Look deeper. There is more beneath the surface. Remain cool and centered. Take time to look at the deep underlying currents and follow your intuition. Love your shadow. We all have a dark side or issues we want to resolve, things we can improve on. No one is perfect. As the card says, we are perfectly imperfect. Accept and love yourself as you are and do the same with others. Focus your efforts on your own mastery. Evolve, again, those beautiful butterflies. You are allowed to grow, to change your mind, attitudes and beliefs, to become stronger, lighter and happier. And your growth is cause for celebration. Wow, this is beautiful. Find balance. Remember, we can't keep giving without receiving. Love others and allow them to love you back. Give forward to receive. Like these fish here represent abundance. Even moderation requires moderation. Swing from one extreme to another can put one out of balance. Restore your peace from within. Stop and breathe. Reality shaped by what we believe. Take a deep breath, reassess and realign. Let go of what doesn't help the situation. Pay it forward. This is one of my favorite. Be the answer to someone else's prayer. Helping others can be the quickest way to help ourselves. It is so nice to give and giving that feeling that comes out of us. It's amazing. We feel like we've done it, done something special for someone else. Share light. Share your trials as well as your accomplishments and triumphs. Your stories benefit you in telling and others in the learning and hearing, spreading the light of transformation. Again, a butterfly with the light and angels around you to help you. Embrace sensitivity. There will be moments when we get upset. 
allow this to go through you because change is very important for us to grow and prosper. Appreciating beauty requires sensitivity, a vulnerable feeling, yet the world needs more sensitivity, not less. Embrace it. Do not deny your emotional needs. Right. Have an outlet to express one's thoughts leads to more clarity and awareness of oneself. Put pencil to paper, explore your inner world. By writing, you go within your soul and put it on paper, you send it to the universe. And if you read it to your angels and guides, things will even manifest faster for you. Use discernment, be careful with the information that's floating around. Try to see both sides of a coin to balance yourself because there's always one truth, her truth, his truth, and the truth. So it's important to understand both sides before you make some serious decisions. There is no need to believe something that does not resonate for you. Personal truths can change as pers perspectives shift and expand. Learn. Expand your knowledge to expand your world. Seek out teachers of wisdom. Seek new knowledge to create broader perspectives. Bigger, dream bigger. If you wanna have a house, try to get it the biggest house you can. If you wanna be a teacher, be the best teacher you can possibly be. There's no reason why you can't push your limits. Do not limit yourself with small picture goals because of insecurities or fear of failure. Start building what you really want and co-creators will follow. Look in your little magic ball in your little crystal and ask what you want. Get the best dress, the best shoes, the best friends, the best love life. Aim high. Starting a business, Pretend you're going to be a millionaire and it will come to fruition. Listen to feedback. Don't think you know it all. I know I was younger. I thought I knew it all. But like everybody else, we learn with time that there's people who are smarter, have more wisdom and knowledge than we. Seek out their leadership. Ask them to coach you or mentor you to help you move forward. Listen to feedback. Constructive feedback is very important. Nothing can make you feel small unless you allow it. What you take from feedback and how you respond is entirely within your control. Be a proud peacock. But before you show those feathers, take care of yourself and listen. Perhaps there's ways to improve yourself. Practice patience. Now, this is something that many of us struggle. We're very busy. We're very stressed. And we need to take a deep breath. There are, everybody's on a different learning curve. Everybody's on a different journey in their life. So take time and practice patience. Conditions outside uh, sometimes determine the best time to move forward. Wait and work on something else until that condition changes. Change your environment. If you're not happy, go to a different part of your home, walk around, go see a friend. Move things around in the room where you're working. Just that energy shift will change your focus and your focus will bring you to a different alignment. Our environment supports or undermines us. Give more attention to where you live, work, rest, and play. Create surroundings that support you. Forgive and release. When we carry love and forgiveness, we are stronger. Everybody makes mistakes. Don't hold grudges for too long. Process the feelings, forgive the person or the situation and try to move forward to new experiences and new people will come in your way to make your life more fulfilling and loving. Be nimble. When you think you need advice, be open to receiving. Don't just ask to ask and then ignore the person's advice. When someone gives you some advice, be humble and listen. Perhaps there's a word there or a suggestion or a look or a feeling that will help you move forward. When we ask for help, we must be open to receiving it. We may be called to be flexible when help arrives in unexpected forms. Break free. 
Many times, many of us are stuck in a cycle, never ending treadmill. When this would come up, it's time to break free from your guilt over past actions and your judgment of others. Discard what no, no longer works for you. Be the butterfly. Conquer fear. Fear can be so paralyzing. Take the time to understand what are you scared of? Are you scared of being successful? Why? Many of these fears have no basis other than perhaps someone telling you, you can't do it, don't do it, it's not good for you. No one can really tell you that and know you like you. Listen to the information, process it and see what works for you. And in order to go over the fear, you need to push forward. Most fear is based on illusions, on truths we deny to avoid change. Release your need for control and perfection. Doing your best is often plenty. Exercise gratitude. There's nothing more important than being grateful for what you have. So being grateful for any little gesture or any little thing or, or transaction that happens, it's grateful. If your gratefulness is expressed, more will come your way. Because why would the universe or someone give you anything if you're not appreciative of what's being sent to you? Everyone is a co-creator in this shared experience of life. Gratitude for all things overcome our resistance to challenge and spurs our growth. Move quickly. Don't hesitate sometimes because if you wait too long, you may miss an important opportunity. Some opportunities require quick responses, whereas others, you can take time to digest, process, and make them wisely. Use your instincts to guide you your way. Don't be afraid to move fast on some of your hunches. That might prove to be quite rewarding. Co-create. Working with others creates new responsibilities. Cooperate relationships lead to greater growth. Yes, there's things you want to do on your own, but it's always nice to perhaps work with other people. Obviously, in a harmonious environment, what goes around comes around. Beautiful. Remove toxicity. We are only treated as badly as we allow others to be. Pay attention to your physical and emotional health and reduce your toxic burdens. Sometimes, as empaths or emotionally giving people, we give too much. You're being encouraged to take time and Give less or perhaps take more. Be careful. Mourn. It is normal to grieve the death of a relationship, the loss of a job, or other opportunities, the loss of a business. Don't try to fast forward it There's, because it will catch up to you. It's important for you to go through the grieving process. Grieving can be very overwhelming, but necessary. We are Plans by letting our feelings wash through us. Only then can we move past the pain. If someone passed recently, grieving and mourning is a normal human process. The pain may never go away. The grieving may never go away. It's just we think about it a little less and less every day. But we will always think about losing someone or something that was near and dear to our hearts. Offer grace. When someone's in a very bad place, why don't you offer them some console, condolences or console them? Make choices with your heart. Even when you're giving the wrong decisions, we receive grace after, after we've shown it to others. Sometimes we may give them advice and be, be careful when you give people advice because they may not be in the same growth period as you are or cycle. I offer options. I ask permission first. Now I offer you an advice. If so, here's what I'd like to do or offer for, for you. And this is what I would do in a search situation and give reasons. That often helps and often works. Doesn't mean the person will take your advice. At least they've had an exposure to other options. Return to your center. Many times we get very, very scattered and distracted by events around us. Cha chaotic events do not benefit from panicking reactions. The situation may not need to respond, need a response from you. Stay calm and centered in your heart. You'll see many leaders during many difficult times at work, um, at play, or even in government or political situations. You don't see leaders panicking 
and screaming and crying and breaking down in front of people. They need to learn to center themselves and wait and move forward as good, strong leaders should. Heal. Wounds need to be acknowledged before they can heal, especially those unseen. Give yourself time, space, whatever is necessary to regain your wholeness. Get up. Take the time to get up in the mornings. Set up a beautiful routine. Find a reason to get up. No matter how far you have fallen, we need to get up and try again. We're on earth. We're, this is a learning school. Nothing's lost. We have a beautiful opportunity to get up in the morning. Practice self-care. If you've had a particularly difficult day, take five minutes to yourself. And if you want to get away and distract it from your own challenges, help someone else who might be in a worse situation than you. No matter how difficult things may be for you, others have it worse. Serve others, but don't neglect your own needs. You can't give what you don't already have. Replenish your cup. Attend to your needs. Love all. Your compassion is incomplete until it includes yourself. Release self-judgment, self-punishment, self-loathing, and self-sabotage. Stop yourself before saying, I can't, I'm not smart enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm stupid, that was dumb what I did. Remove that vocabulary. It's only going to hold you back. Take the time and look into your reflection of your love, which begins with you. Finally, remember your purpose. You came to earth to learn how to love yourself and all that is, to achieve self-mastery, to explore conscious co-creation. Heaven resides in your heart. That's a beautiful, beautiful deck. So I hope you enjoy this reading. If you'd like a personal reading using this deck, feel free to reach out to me. My information is in the description below. I would like to invite you to like and subscribe to my channel. It is new and I would absolutely appreciate and be grateful for you to like and subscribe. Have a great day. God bless. I hope to see you soon. Thank you.